Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. It has recently come to my attention that not everybody knows what this bad boy is. This is a finger pinchers 101, okay? It's uh, got a little lever here, got a little lever here, and it's got a mechanism here where it does that thingamajig, thingamabob, however you wanna say it. <clears throat> and then it just releases like this. So we're not gonna pretend that there's a smarter person out there. There's a difference between common sense and common knowledge. Where you're living, this might not be common knowledge or common sense, okay? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a loop method to start us out. Let's just move the cameraman over here. Um, I'm gonna take about one hand span right here and I'm just gonna do the loop method, okay? Oh, let's get you a little better view, folks right here let's try that okay so i have my hand these are xl hands so uh, about one two 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 spreads okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to just put my finger right here and i'm going to put just a nice little let's grab my pliers we're going to put a nice little loop little loopity loop right there okay now this is how I do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way to do it or not, okay? I try to put at least four little twi uh, twists in there, okay? This is the loop method. Now, I'm gonna show you how I do it, okay? I'm gonna hook this end of the stretcher. Open that wide open. See how that is? The wire's gonna go in here. And I'm gonna loop it right to the end there. Now, it's come to my attention that not everybody does it that way. I always give it a little bump right here, okay? Um, <clears throat> which is fine. You know, you're gonna have your your uh, your devil's rope coming through here, your barbed wire coming through here, otherwise, and your other end coming through here, and then you kind of finagle it. But I have found if you put your loop in here first, and a lot of ranchers I've noticed with a lot of experience don't do it this way. I think it's because of the common sense, common knowledge thing. This is gonna speed you up. Put your loop in on one end first. It's gonna make a world, a world of difference. My wire is coming to right here, okay? And it needs to come over to there. So let's go ahead and grab what I have and see what I have, okay? I've got all my wife's corgis following me around today, which makes the day go by pretty fast. And they're good little doggies. If you guys ever need a corgi, Give my wife a call. She will hook you up in about a heartbeat. So now this end here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular twisty twist. I'm gonna grab you again, okay? Now this here is another piece of barbed wire, okay? Cause we have a, it's broken. I'm just gonna put this in here and I've done a video like this already. If you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and do that while I try to mess this up. Maybe I'll speed myself up here. There's about four loops on that one. And four loops on this one. Okay, this side is mended. Let's go ahead and use that stretcher now. Okay, hold this side. Pull this side. You can see the new piece that's mended into the existing fence. Of course, this is the existing fence with the loop. Right there I am. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna pull that back a little bit and we're gonna cut this excess off. Trying to do all that on camera. And now, see my tail end here? Watch how it grows. We're gonna put some honky tonk on that. Uh, let's see here. That wire looks like she's taking her. Let's see, try one more. I call it just a fetch stretcher. This is a northern fence stretcher. It's probably the most popular, what you're gonna find in most people's ranch and rigs. Now my loop is already in here. I don't have to fight that loop. Making that loop 
right here because you don't have much place to work here. You seen that? You don't have much of a place to work in that little area. So now what I'm gonna do, so I just go ahead, wrap this in here, one wrap. Boom. Now to loosen it, it just comes all the way forward. Look how easy that came off. Just gonna go ahead and grab my plier. Now sometimes I leave a long tail on there. You seen that? Seen how I did that? Just a long tail all the way in here. That way if I had to redo that again, I'm golden. This is what they call a Western fin stretcher. Um, I've had this one for a number of years. My original one is in one of my pickups somewhere. I might be in that Toyota over there, I'm not sure. But uh, this is a Northern fin stretcher. Uh, again, not everyone's used to this. I know some of my European friends have never seen any of this. So they ask me all the time, what are you using there? That's what I'm using, a northern fin stretcher. It's not called a northern fin stretcher. It's just a fin stretcher to us. This one, I believe, is made by Goldenrod or something. I'll try to put a link down below for y'all uh, to get this off of Amazon. Till next time, folks, this is Luke Simons. Hope these videos help you. If they do, just let us know by hitting that thumbs up button or subscribing or sharing this on Facebook or your social media platform. We'd very much appreciate that. Also, if you would, please pray for myself and my family. We are going through some very hard times, the hardest time, darkest hour of my life. If you would, please just give us a prayer. I believe there's power in prayer. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ or the power of his salvation. There's one name above all other names. Without it, we cannot be saved. Love you. Happy trails.